Hi everyone and welcome back to a snack size video in learning how to use Unreal Engine 4. In this video we're going to take a look at blueprint function libraries. Again what are they and how do we use them and why would we want to use them. So a function library you can access and create by going into add new in the bottom content browser. Go to blueprints and look for blueprint function library. Click on it and you can name your library whatever you want. So for example I'm going to call this one my test function library. I can then open this up and I get presented with a almost familiar sort of set, uh, setup here. So what is a function library? A function library is a, way, uh, is a collection of functions that you can define uh, that aren't tied to any particular actors, they're just generic uh, functions that you want to use across the whole entire game, across all the actors, without having to get references to particular actors. So if you want a function to exist outside of the actors that everyone can access, this is what you want to use. So to demonstrate this, we're going to create a couple here. So I'm going to create a test function here. So I'm going to go um, test function like so. And immediately I can click on it and go to the right hand side and set up some inputs or an outputs. So I can go to inputs and we'll do some test text. And we'll put this as a string. And we're simply going to do a print string here. We're going to plug that in, like so. And then we're going to tell it to output as well. So I'm going to go out here and go output and plug that in as well. And this output is going to output a Boolean and it's going to output whether it was successful or not. Okay. And we can tick it to be true, false, whatever you want to do. So here's a simple, very, very simple test function. And to show you how you can access it everywhere, I'm going to go to my first person character here. And I'm simply just going to right click and just type in test function. And there you go. There it is. So now this is going to call that function, that function library. Now, because these functions exist outside of all actors, it means they don't have any instantiated variables, meaning you can't have any variables whatsoever outside of the function. You can have local variables, which are local to just the function, but there's no actor that you can access here and access their variables. So where can you use this? Well, I've used it in several places. One that is in an upcoming up series, and that is to do with skill systems. And so I've done a whole skill system. I've done an inventory system as well, using this as well, where I'm just set up an inventory function library, such as looking for uh, testing an inventory, looking up if there's an item in there, adding an item to inventory. And it's just a nice way of putting stuff in together without having to access a particular li um, inventory function. So. For example, if we're thinking about inventories here, I can create a function here saying add to inventory. I could add another function saying uh, get inventory. Okay, And here is where I can set up what I want to do. So if I want to be able to get any actor's inventory, I can click on here, go to my inputs and set up an input here for the actor, uh, the inventory component or uh, inventory array that I want to use. Uh, if I want a particular access to a particular actor, I can just type in actor here and choose a type of actor. And that's now going to ask for an actor to get the inventory of that actor. Okay, so here I can do a check to see if the actor has an inventory. And if they don't, it will return false. If they do, it will return the actual inventory component. And what's quite cool about this is I can actually use these inside of each other. So on add to inventory, I can use get inventory. I can drag that in like so. So I can now use ask for add to inventory to add something into our get inventory. So I can go, for example, get player character and just plug that into the actor there and it'll and carry on doing the rest of the code. So here I could have a collection of all the functions that an inventory would need. Um, and then another function library, I could do one that's set up for skills. I can put another one for crafting. I could put another one up for combat. What, I don't know, up to you. You can do whatever you like. But the main thing is, is that because they're outside of an actor, it means it can be accessed by absolutely anyone, which makes them super powerful and super useful to use. So that's it for function libraries. There's, that's all there is really to them. They're quite simple, and but really useful and really cool to use. So thanks very much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more explanations of some learnings in Unreal, leave a comment below about what you want to learn more about, and I'll make a video on it. So thanks again for everyone for supporting me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.